Welcome to the Creative Playing Podcast Network. Join us as we review our favorite RPGs, collectible card games, MMOs, video games, PC games, and bring up interesting topics and things that we'd like to share with everyone. Sit back and enjoy the show. Hi, this is Kelly, a.k.a. Trixie from Ragnarok and Roll, assigned to Ragnarok Story, and Tilda Wimblewick from D&D Journey of the Fifth Edition. First off, I would just like to say thank you to everyone for listening to our varied adventures, as well as for rating us on iTunes and RPGpodcast.com. If you haven't rated us yet, we would greatly appreciate it if you could. And if you're looking for more ways to support our efforts, we are now on Patreon, a great site where you can help us continue making more podcasts, as well as some special surprises for our patrons. If you can, please look us up at www.patreon.com slash cppn. Every little bit helps. And again, thank you for listening. Welcome back to Sunday Night Scoundrels, our Edge of Empire role-playing game. And Tucson Games and Gadgets. So, uh, are you going to look at the, the data stick? Uh, with my data pad. Okay. And I'm using it into the main system. <laughs> you you, you uh, sweep it for viruses, you can go ahead and just get yep. the computers. You can always put it in the YT. <laughs> <laughs> Sit in the cockpit. That might be just the to point to take the shot, too. Okay. Uh, Mine goes up to mode activated. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Aww. Aww. It's a hard data stick. Yeah. Being so... Wow, that's not good. Well, uh, either canceled, way... Canceled, so one failure. You believe that the data stick is... A data uh, stick? Safe. Is. The data stick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, 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 it's non-malicious. <laughs> You're willing to put this jump drive in anything. You think it's... Yeah. Uh-uh. It came up on its McAfee scan is completely safe. Except for I've already told him he's not plugging in the dark, so you plug it into the white seat. Yeah, yeah so <laughs> you Okay. So you plug it in, go into the white tee, plug oh. it in there. Can I just use my data pad to... Yeah. yeah. That okay. makes its own isolated You plug system. it in there, it's basically, it's got uh, some bank account records, but of course it's it's individually locked, so it's not like you can use them for okay. anything other than knowing, it. hey, someone's got a bank account with this number. Okay. The important thing is it's got three different locations for safe houses. Okay. And it's got a, uh, basically, command code, to, you hit this and a rescue team will come to you. <laughs> And if you hit this one, it will give you a safe house, you know, place that you can go to that's not being occupied. Um, and then, of course, there's an automated message that you hit with saying, either of those so. two yeah. to basically say, come get me, or come in hot, or, you know, right. everything's cool, let me in. So the unoccupied. Basically, you have to hit this house. message and it pings you back which one of the three are unoccupied. Uh, so basically, it's, it requires communication. But it's a really simple system of ping that you want a safe house. And it, p- it highlights one of the three, then you hit the one of the three, and then you hit the message saying, I'm coming in. Or I'm coming in hot. Or I want to be rescued and taken to that place. Okay. Okay. So it all checks out, it's clean, but my thing is to probably drop, and we ain't doing anything until we drop our current yeah. load. So we don't want ships attached and shit. No. <laughs> Because we can always yeah, let's get, let's get like three more shorts on here. Let's do yeah, it. It's sure. a love train. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to scan Wars again City. for the uh, uh, Imperial ships just to make sure. Okay. Nothing... Um, everything seems to be clear on the okay. streets. Yeah. Okay. It, so. It's smooth sailing. So we'll, yeah, I say we drop ships and everything and our stuff over to Lady Satori before we do anything else. Okay. He said if we take them there, he didn't say when. Yeah. So he just doesn't want to be taken to a hut and sold into your arena. Yeah. Or right. to a ring right. bar, you know? Right. No. I get okay. that. So I go back. Well, don't even waste your time. Don't waste your time with him. Just sit here, just Yeah, so we're Unless he gave you a sum. A sum. As in they will pay you X amount if you return me. Yeah, we'll we'll worry yeah. about it. Except we can compare it to what she said. <laughs> yeah, okay. She was willing to pay. Wait, well, did well, you tell us what you discussed? No. That's right. Yeah. No. Oh, oh, you did? Oh, okay, you oh. gave him the skin okay, right. so this guy is a fool. He's trying to <laughs> So he's us. like, hey, he's going to pay me three times for his thing. Yeah. But not you guys. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, he said he'd pay everyone, just he pay him three times. Yeah. Right. Well, first, we'll drop, talk to Lady Satori, see what she wants from him first, and then we might take it back. No. Countering what he offers. Yeah, because if he didn't she's say willing not to... to pay well for him, okay. I, it's like one. 
So you guys come to the smuggler moon, and she gives you coordinates in orbit to meet her. Yeah. Oh, okay. She's yeah. coming up. Her. Oh, I yeah. hope we're doing it. You're bringing somebody Flash to bring cards. this other ship well, down? Because we're not. We've got no more docking. <laughs> Flashcards. <laughs> well, she can dock on again. You can get that all up to at least get the air dock to work, right? Okay. Not the balcony. Uh, actually, she's point. coming up in, in the Lady's Honor, which is her private ship, which is this nice, fancy Y-1300 that's got tractor beam for one gun. It's now a tractor beam transmitter. And, you know, So she basically, you know, meets you guys out in orbit. Okay. Beautiful, pristine, gilded ship. It's got, of course it is. It's got, got nice, you know, gold and silver highlights. You can practically see the Jawas polishing it later on. <laughs> we went to orbit, Jawas. <laughs> Polish it. <laughs> I am a princess. One for <laughs> Okay, so she's looking at this amalgamation of ships, and she's like, what happened to the Womp Rat Shadow? Well, That's sun, before we got there. Well, the sun fired on it. Mm, that's going to be an expensive race. Yeah, that's not going to come out of our yeah. compensation, though. Okay, so she basically... Uh, <laughs> has... Dr. Sworn, as far as the damage explanations. Yeah. How do we want to handle this where she's figuring, how am I going to connect with you guys in this yeah. thing? So well, one thing we could do is we could drop the other two shit. Like, we just, like, stop, drop them, then uh-huh. go into orbit... And then oh. link up with her. Well, like I said, I mean, the Falcon has it probably has at least two airlocks, too. Yeah. So we link up to the. She can repulse or lift you guys, slide in, and close the connections. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Okay, so she'll, she'll, that's her oh. main suggestion. She wants to connect her ship to your ship. Yeah, yeah. Because then she can fly off with the other two. Yes. Okay, so she gets on board, and, you know, she's in her regal outfit. She's got her shiny new oh, pistol. Geez. She just upgraded because someone brought some stuff back, and, you know, <laughs> something fell off a truck. <laughs> well, we preserved the rest of your crew. Uh, and she comes up and immediately starts dolting on the t- the, the Twilight cap- oh, captain. And then, oh, Captain, you are one of my best captains. Only your skill made the Womp Rat Shadow survive. And, and she kind of, you know, you guys kind of notice that she's mocking him, but he's sucking it up. Now, no, dear sir, please go to my ship, you know, so we can, you know, take care of your wound. I heard how you were grievously wounded defending the vessel. <laughs> and she basically is playing him like a violin. Right, yeah. he, he, his crew gladly go on her ship because she'll, she'll take them off and find another job for them. Because obviously the, the Womp Rat Shadow is going to need lots of work. Yeah, it's going to be a while. Okay. The fact cool. that it's I... intact. Yeah, it is well, intact. What, what do you mean, Coster? Yeah, we she never did negotiate. You ship. never asked for a price. Yeah, we never negotiated, she's... so we'll... Hey, yeah. it's, it's ours right we now. Move she quickly. wants it, she's going to have to pay well, for Well, technically it. now it's 10 <laughs> 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 so, so technically, we've already surrendered. But we did move quickly without question to... And, uh, and she's gladly... And assist you. She is, she is gladly willing to provide yeah. you 5,000 credits for you know, rescuing her crew in time. And I also bring out and, her chest. And uh, the chest? Yes, I go the chest. retrieve that for her. I would like to see my chest. Yes, I go retrieve it and bring it out to her. Ooh. So for that 5,000, that is one to the ship and we each get one. Okay. You're adorable in your banking. <laughs> They're like, keep me gun oil. Yeah. Yeah, yeah right there. Keep me blast oil. Hey, the, the and and when she sees chair. the chest, she is ecstatic. I mean, she literally tears start coming with happiness on her cheeks. And she like runs over to it, swipes her finger on it, popping the, the top oh, on it. Make sure okay. everything's in it. And she starts looking, you see like little stuffed animal, and basically the type of things that you would see in a hope chest, as well as like crystal right things. And... Mental bleach! Mental bleach! That's what it was on my That's what life for, And then we see her pull out a data pad <laughs> that has a royal sigil on the back of it. As well as a a handful of data sticks. Oh. So she's really... Huh? Maybe she is, or maybe this is exactly maybe what she needs stuck. to pretend to be. Who knows? And she puts them back gladly, but puts them back in order. And she closes the hatch with a hiss. She's so good. All right. And then she basically whips out a data stick and promptly hands it to you, saying, okay. here's an additional 10000 for the chest. Nice. And basically, it's flat out black market credits. On the, that stick is ten thousand dollars on the stick. Sweet. 
So two thousand each into the ship. So fifteen oh, grand. And she's like, so how do we want to handle getting my ships back to the planets? Um, no, I take it's not flyable at the moment still. Uh, no. Well, you can tow it in. She does have the tractor, mm-hmm. so she can, she's got she can safely yeah, she's take got them a in. Tractor, she can tow it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So okay, so got she, three thousand dollars. Three thousand. She basically, thank you very much. She says, thank you, thank you very much. She snaps, snaps, so some of her crew grabs the chest, and, gi- and she yells at them when they don't gingerly pick it up at first. Not scratch. If there's a scratch, I'll have your eyes. What about the wife? She's probably taking that too, unless you have, you know, something to say about it. Um. She said um, shit. Let, let her have it. Let her have it. Okay. Let's have, we have the pilot. Yeah, yeah. I, I know that. I asked her about the pilot. How much are you willing to pay for the pilot? Oh, yeah. you have the pilot. Well, we have the pilot and also we, we have, have the Black two. Sun Lieutenant. We have two pilots. Oh, so we, have, we have your sun? pilot. Yes, I... we also have a Black Sun Lieutenant. Oh, so you see, she didn't know that you had the, the Black Sun. Oh, no, I know. So the How pilot is part of the you? job of you, you You give me that guy. Yeah. You know, the the, uh, the, the undercover bad guy. So yeah, the you pilot. Don't, yeah, if you right. don't kill him or if you do kill him, can I have the body so I can... Claim the, claim the no, he's only worth three. He's only worth three thousand alive. Three thousand alive. <laughs> I'm just saying. You're talking about the. Which one are you talking about? The pilot. Pilot. You said the pilot. They betrayed yeah. you. Yeah. How they betrayed you. If you want, whatever. But I would. I will take the corpse and or if you want to leave him alive, barely alive. I will. I, I'll take you back when you're done. Let me see the pilot first. Yeah, we'll right. bring the pilot out okay. separately. Yeah, yeah. You, you drag him out. The car, or to the yeah, car. wherever she oh, wants. Is the okay. She, she black sun sort of like gently separate. kneels, you know, because of course she's on his knees. And right. She right. kneels up, she starts whispering. And you just notice her demeanor completely changes from her normal regal lady like something to <laughs> a very dark and scary presence. And she whispers. And the second she finishes whispering, she kind of glances up. And you see three blaster bolts fly out his back. Yeah. And cool. kind of like, sl- and she moves in a way that not a speck of blood lands on her. Oh, that's just graceful. I applaud. Oh, oh. Well, I'll take it with sweet. you then. <laughs> oh, no, no. You can gladly have the garbage. Thank you. 500 dead? I'll take 500 dead. Okay. Oh. It's, it's keeping your, your guild dues hey, in check. Right. And right. actually, you don't necessarily need the body, right? You just yeah. need evidence of. Well, you can take so, the body. Too, uh, right? Well, I don't want to encumber her. <laughs> You know, <laughs> I want to be on. Hey. So can I see? Like she's trying to conspiracize against us in she's any not. way. No, no, no. She's quite happy yeah, with her. We have been making her. Dude, we good. just got just straight up a <laughs> grant from her. A piece. A yeah. piece. No, she. We've over exceeded all her. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have so succeeded okay. every task she's. Ever it has been us. total win-win for both of you guys. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So. We okay. in no way, shape, or form think she's bad. The so mere yeah. fact that you guys brought her shit back is a win win yeah. for her. Again. Yeah. yeah. Now, <laughs> Again. How Again. much is she willing to pay for the Black Sun pilot? pilot? Yes. So no, the other guy. Yes. Lieutenant. So now we talk. Now let's Black talk Sun about Lieutenant. Lieutenant. I, I, I can't honestly afford to pay for him, and I think he would be more dangerous at, to me than he would be for anyone else. Because the Black Sun would try to free him because he might know things that, that they wouldn't want slipping into the wrong hands. So you don't so mind us... Uh, he's too hot of a commodity for me to purchase. Okay. You don't mind us to... Because at this point, he has... But if you don't mind me shooting him, I'm gladly willing to do that. No, no. no. I, I would like to shoot him. I like shooting people, so I'll, I'll take that on. I, I, I give her a little, like, like um, yeah, we're, we're, we're good? Yeah. yeah. At this point, he has no idea that we're... But could I, to you could, in I, any way. could I talk to him? Did you promise um, not to shoot him? Well, no. if you want him to <laughs> no, go... No, let's go. Well, see, if yeah. she's an assassin... Okay, if she's like a regular bounty hunter, then her thing is actually to keep people alive? Yeah, but at yeah, this point, they she, are she captured just, like... Hey, no, she's not a pirate. She she's, 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 she's a smuggler. Can I go see if she checks out if she's going to do anything bad to him at all? You can do it. Yeah, you can do it. Light side, right? Yeah. Get Hey, one light side. One light side. Stop uh, light side. You give that she basically means him ill ill intent. Yeah. I was gonna say because she just admitted just say, that he is worth 
more to her right. dead. Yeah. Than I was gonna say at this point he has no <laughs> clue that we're associated with you in yeah. any way. Yeah. So, 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 so we're gonna leave it at that. Then so I, I, I will a... leave you to your business, and I'll meet you back on the surface of the planet. Okay. okay. She, she basically will graciously bow uh, to well, and, and basically do the <laughs> suave, sexy walk away with a little okay. extra swivel to the hips. As <laughs> <laughs> you human. notice, her she's dresses. human, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, not bad for a human. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You don't get those curves on a moon's gravity. <laughs> and I'm a toy like, I'm not impressed. <laughs> right. Oh, you would be. Presence four. Okay. Like, oh. That's why you keep failing at negotiations with her. No. <laughs> so at this point, we have an opportunity to maybe get a little good ground with the black sun. <laughs> Doesn't hurt to have kind of on the side. When did I roll earlier and see if he was... Uh, the underworld? With the, how much his bounty was for? Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, you can go ahead and roll that again. Yeah. What was that? Uh, Still two? Or... I was going to say, you want me to check it for you? Yeah, yeah. if you could. You can have him hit his. his it, it, it just kind of makes me feel to watch you fumble through that shit. She's uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> like, kick. He's like, kick, okay, I want. So no, 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 no. no. Um, because it made it. Like, that. <laughs> Your touch screen's all scratched up and got a couple cracks in the corner. Like, give me that. I'd hit a guy with yes. that. Yes. Yeah. How, what? What? what gets to it, It's going to be against three purple. Three purple? Why not? Well, do you want to give him your access code? By the way, once you do, he's got your access code. No. no okay. Don't want to do I mean, you can just say sure. You do the login and hand it. Yeah. yeah okay. I'll okay. do the login. Okay. So you... two, two, two purple. Since you're in his his his, okay. his login there. Oh, what do we got? Very nice. So those cancel, yeah. three, three successes. successes. Yeah, see? That's how this works. No. Oh! Yeah. Oh! <laughs> you use the plus you. symbol in your Google search. <laughs> so I show him as I'm doing, like, look, watch. <laughs> so basically, you found out that this guy's wanted by both the Imperials, <laughs> as well as the Huts, as well as standard Imperial security. Oh, this guy's wanted by quite a few people in quite a few different planets. If you turn them over to the Imperials, you could probably get twelve grand for them. Now, granted, you know as a bounty hunter, that and you know you, as you got to be careful what Imperial you turn them over to. Because right. a lot of times they want their cuts, right, right, yeah, really or like or they take your yeah, right, prisoner right. from you. And me, I want to exact uh, revenge on people. Hey, so how about you just? Call he doesn't want to deal with them either. So <laughs> it's like I'm going to make him swat up explosives and drop them off at the Imperials. Right. Yeah. Or he's worth about five grand for the huts. And pretty much the hut that wants him is one of the one one of the uh, Kijax clans that deal in weapons de- manufacturing. Okay. I, I say we can garner some uh, Black Sun favor. Like and that's strictly six. alive, by the way. Dead, he's only worth like a thousand to each. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah. And, uh, and he's offered three times. We can we can tell him whatever place or this. Yeah, we tell him. Hey, he wanted one hundred thousand. And just lie to him. Yeah, say 100,000. So I kind of like the Huts. Yeah, uh, I'd rather not do that. <laughs> your yeah? behavior uh, doesn't like the Huts. I don't like Imperial. You, you're something. Black Sun, we've already done some damage. Black Sun, I'm going to garner some favor with Black Sun. Everyone? I think of Black Sun as the, the, the Russian law. Because it could help us in a tight situation, maybe. It's... In his favor. Especially if we have to do work for the territory. Right. So the Huts are definitely yeah. off the table. I'd rather not. And the Imperials, because you have nuts. That's your name. I'd just rather not run no. into He says name. Somebody. You say name. What I do you say? say? Or the I Imperials. say we. D- uh, I guess say we go with the Black Sun. Because Black Sun's. Like Alright, so that's three more days. Right. The Black Sun's more of the core worlds. Right, versus. Yeah. The, you have your Italian the mafia huts that are out oh. in hut space, then you've got the. Yeah. The Russian mob. So they black can come sun. in handy if we have to go in or interfere. See, unlike the huts, the black sun can be polite in polite society. True. Sure. Right. Until they so, get behind closed doors. Then okay. they start taking fingers off. So how much do yeah. we want for him? Shuffle them. Oh, we can go Alright, so well, then we'll and say that we can get this much from uh, our client. The client. <laughs> we'll, we'll go with the biggest number. <laughs> which is Imperial. Which is Imperial, which is 12. So, so then, Joe, okay, what are you looking to? We are willing to take you instead of turning you over to our client. 
you know, what do you... That's, do, that's what we want to go with? All right, yeah, let's, you know, it's, uh, as a consortium, we'll yeah, walk... As a group? We'll walk to the guy and be like, hey... We have nothing against the Black Sun, so... Uh, so <laughs> the... So <laughs> these people are, uh... We had a contract. Mm-hmm. Are, uh, are offering 12. Are you willing to... Exceed that. So who's yeah. going to be the negotiator of the group? Okay, hold it. Who's got the best negotiation? You do. That's right. <laughs> so right, you're wish- wishing to negotiate with him. Okay, hold it. What is your right. negotiation? Negotiation. Oh, uh, two green. No, that's not. No, no. Negotiation, negotiation, negotiation buddy. Uh, two green. Okay, I have three green. How much do you have? Um, two green. And you oh, definitely right. have a blue dice for being in an advantageous situation. Okay, so then I will do it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And, okay. and you, you also have a blue dice because you know what his value is in the market. Yep. So okay. two blue dice. And I come in with my droid, you know, the remote mm-hmm. stuff, and I'm like, as he's talking and looking, I'm like, two. Like, keeping the super. I'm with the guard. And it's well, going to be. We're all there. Yeah, yeah we're, we're all super flipping. Uh oh. Oh, you're flipping, and it's going to yeah. be against a red and a purple, which is his negotiating skill. Go. Okay, so these wow. counteract these. Wow. Um, so that would be uh, two, three successes and uh, two advantages. Wow. <laughs> that one's a lot smaller than He's giving us three times. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so everybody gets 9,000, by the way. <laughs> well, remember, you have to get the ship in. The ship the always ship gets, gets it. Right, right. We gotta maintain. So erase all that, right? Good thinking. Good, good. That's just how we keep the ship good right. practice. in you repairs. Can read, you can read divide. Fuel practice in the skills. and in upgrades. You see, it's working. I know. <laughs> good math practice. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Role-playing games are great yep. for uh, teaching Re- skills like math. Reading, math, comprehension. Reading, writing, and arithmetic. Yes. All work with yep. role-playing yep. games. See, there should be more articles about that for schools. Right. Because literally all, all three of the R's are used in role-playing. Yep. Oh, definitely. So what's he, so what's he offering? He's willing to come back with... Well, let me do a quick addition. So you're telling him the ship has to get an equal like, cut? Yeah. Well, it, it can get the divi- the remainder, well, but it has to be. We're not worried about the division as far as he's concerned. We yeah. want to for see his how concern. much he's yeah. willing to come up with, and maybe even a favor down the road. Well, since since I did promise to pay you three times what your crew is going to make. Oh, he tells us this. Yeah, he says this out loud. That's fine. I figured too. <laughs> uh, he's I'm, trying to bite uh, us. I'm making. I'll make sure you guys remember, get it. It's like me. Well. He's, well, we're he's all gesturing there, to your leader, out. though, because he did negotiate with the leader. Uh, a total sum of 18,000 credits for my freedom. 18,000. That's nowhere close to what uh, we can get 12 for you. Wait, we're getting 12. Or... I would say with, with ease. Uh, yeah, we're getting 12. Oh, he knows how much bounty we have. Well, yeah, he probably does. Right. And then triple that. So, well, so you're I, honestly I, only going to give us 6000 more? I, I can only promise that that's what I'm going to pay. What my boss pays in addition to that, you'll have to find out after we talk to him. I said because three successes and two advantages. As well as, you know, you never know what, you know, good camaraderie with Black Sun is worth. That's priceless. The sun never sets on the black. Think of all the opportunities and openings working with us can afford you. We're not some podunk small no. world. If, okay, I, I just want to say something here. Okay, if we're in the middle of battle with anybody, uh, you, if we need any help, we will be there on demand. Near a station, anywhere, you guys will come. Oh, I can't make those kind of promises. You'd have to talk to someone. You'd have to talk to an underboss or a Vigo for that. But the fact that we'll have a marker is huge. Right. But I can promise not to mention the altercation that we had between our ships. Hey, hey, yeah, we step out. Hey, yeah, we're just like... Okay. Uh, Alright, hold on. Do you give him another sippy cup? <laughs> no. Uh, I asked him if we need 
I try anything? I was gonna say, uh, uh you, 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 <laughs> you try the dead body of the bear. <laughs> you try the body. Yeah, hey, hey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Make it sure. laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna storm in the birthing, so it's oh, gotta yeah, be stored yeah, somewhere. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be stored in so yeah, what do you guys say? Bounty hunters say, need to get body bags. You know, like yeah. you've seen the expanse. They're yeah. body bags. You put the body in, yeah. zip it up, hit the button, and a vacuum seals yeah. the package. Nice. I say we take the deal. Yeah, let's, let's I mean, explore it. It's still it's an extra. Yeah. All right. yeah, yeah. This from the newbie on the crew. She's like, "Let's take the deal. I'm a smuggler, Black Sun. Let's do it." <laughs> Unlimited so, so what's the division on that? I am just starting that because oh, okay. this guy yeah. wants to give us eighteen thousand. Yeah. Uh-huh. And that's remember, that's that's, that's three times five. for you. So. And then we'll see. The, uh, yeah, Divide that by eight, and you get three shares. Huh? Remember, he did promise you triple for you. But he said crew too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that's eight all together. And then you just get you get three eight. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a slicer. I mean, equal opportunity. Lawyer, yeah. You know, it's like, yeah. I mean, there's no sense in burning a bridge. Right. Are you sure we don't want to go to the huts? <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure. I think these uh, are going to get You're still okay. You're technically already, independent already, contractors. Yeah, we're we can, already we can deal with them later. In, in, in hut space. You know, so... Yeah, I'd rather not. I'd rather yeah. make a good connection that's lucrative. Bigger. <laughs> More high risk. Black Sun operates almost exclusively in Imperial space. Yeah. yeah well, because they, they pay them, them off. Right. Yes, okay, but we're not so saying we're working for them. We're just... How much is that? Critical says, uh, dividing it by eight, everybody gets 2,200... Nice. 2,250. And then we're having a mercenary okay. spot but check. you, <laughs> you get three times two thousand. Uh-huh. And that's if you safely deliver him. Don't, don't count your yeah. chickens before the hatch. Right. right. Yeah, that's good. We're just figuring monies. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Potential, sir. Yep, so, yeah, I mean... I, yeah, yeah, that's so. what we're doing. Don't, don't, don't count your Gamorrean guards in the divided <laughs> running season. So, uh... While we go back in, might as well take the body back in. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely dragging the body back in. Okay. As, as he's back. doing this long but now, look at the But now, he does understand that until delivery is completed and stuff, we can't exactly give you free run of our ship. Oh no, I'm 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 willing to but, accept uh, just some we posh will quarters. make sure that you have uh food and and uh, beverage. So where are you gonna put him up? <laughs> He's gonna be cargo. You're gonna uh, leave him just in the cargo hall? I mean I didn't have him. We only have You so have a many. slicer, you can lock him to a life box. Oh yeah, He's or not we can lock very, him in a room. Very Tech savvy is a room. Yeah, but... We can lock him in one of our like spare rooms because I mean it's only like four of us. So. Yeah, we don't want you to. You can always walk over the captain's quarters. It's on Goodwill, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, there's just put them in the quarters there and, you know. The lounge. The lounge, yeah. You can hang out in the lounge. You can sleep in the lounge. We can put them in one of the lounges. Yeah. So that's the crew lounge, but then there's also this uh, another crew lounge. Yeah, but that's closer to where mm-hmm. we're operating, I think. Yeah, because mm-hmm. yeah, I don't want to necessarily close the cockpit, though. Yeah, well, not that he's very savvy with. One, well, say one only person hangs say out with him at all the time. Yeah. One person hangs out with him all the time. Wait. Yeah. Because that's right. What happened to the actual little droid guy? The Did one he... that went with the king's captain? Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Wait, uh, so with him, he didn't uh, slice that thing yet? It was his. I was going to. Wait. Or, like, okay, so we should have somebody on strap him and I can be on guard since I'm, like, right there. No, we leave him strapped. Yeah, yeah no. we leave him. He, I already so what we do is actually we'll put the stuns on him. Well, yeah, put a stun. I think the stuns. Oh, it was on the no, guy. Oh, yeah, the stuns are on the dead guy. So yeah, yeah take my stuns off the dead guy. Put yeah. the stuns on the new guy. And then I unshot the. the and new we'll guy. even be nice and let him have you know, so he can access to his hands. He can go like this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so he can he, he can feed himself, so we don't have to like. Okay. Nope, here comes the air plane! <laughs> here comes the X wing! Right. <laughs> here comes the dust storm! Yep. <laughs> That's no bowl of moon! <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, alright then. I mean, show some goodwill. Okay, so you're gonna put the data stick in and hit the little button? Sure. And it goes ping, 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 ping. Highlights one of the safe houses on the planet Solus. 
That's where the solstice come from. It's kind of convenient. It's a black planet. We'll sit in the ash and dark and moody. Strictly in imperial space. Yes. We'll have a valid transponder number. Okay. Yes. Ping ping number comes up. You know, it's asking, you know, okay, are you in danger? Are you coming in of your own accord? Can I shoot you? Um, yeah. Coming out of their own accord. Yeah, on okay. So you hit yeah, the. Sure. I'm coming on vacation. Okay. Boop. And then beep, 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 beep. And it pops up requesting your ship's transponder. Okay. That's the dude. That's the dude. Okay. okay. Basically, well, basically, it's the ship that you're in. You know, what? what is the ship that's. Oh, in? oh, so what are you going to. So like... that way, Spaceport can tell you what Spaceport you're assigned to randomly. Randomly. Because it's probably somebody on Black Sun working at Spaceport Control. Right. Yeah. Or hacking the system that when your your transponder code comes up, you're shunted to this place right next to this place. And that way they know that you're not going to need an Imperial inspector coming to your ship. Because the yeah, Black no, Sun prepays for these things. They prepay to not get the service. Right. <laughs> well, all um, that stuff's above my pay grade, so... So what transponder code guns. would you what would you like your ship to be when you give them that code? Well, we gotta be what we are because yeah. we're gonna come in. That's gonna yeah. be obvious. And so we're in imperial that space. We are twice so. twenty four. Okay, what is your ship? Be, uh, no, 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 no. We don't want the real name of our ship. Yeah. Out okay, there then how about we so. call it the uh, uh, decimator? Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 we're looking at like a yeah. transport ship. Yeah. Um, like, not a, a, a cargo, just a you can be a pleasure yacht, pleasure yeah. type yacht type thing. So the uh, we'll just call it the lazy um, no, no. <laughs> the um, the blue wombat. The blue wombat because we have the blue stripes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. And uh, who is the owner of the blue wombat? Uh, I asked the hard question. Avasa Sala. Oh. Uh, That's right. Really the a, pilot. Ascara Sala. <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. Pilot? Okay. Yeah. So it's a pleasure craft, so it doesn't have to worry about being inspected by imperial inspectors right. As, right. as thoroughly waiting for you to, to sneak contraband off. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So basically, of. you type in the transponder code you send, and the message basically all crypt, cryptic, you know, kick in and start blurring the message up, so you have to have the exact right cryptic on their end, and it sends this huge data burst out. And then all of a sudden you get a little ping back automatic reply saying, here's the landing pad, the time that you can come okay. in, you know, and it basically says if there's a change in your ETA of more than 12 hours, please send a message to this, this holiday address. Okay. Okay. Cool. Give her all the coordinates and information, yep. feed that into the swagger, or I guess I can yep. feed it into the computer, so. So it knows exactly what side of the planet to go to, yep. and basically be cool. Yep. Fly casual. <laughs> Not too casual. Yep. Imperials <laughs> like to see you pucker your butt a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you guys yeah. turn around. You're making ready to make your course. Give me an astro navigation. Two yeah. purple and a blue. Since the black sun's more than willing to help you with the newest trade routes in the message. All up to date. Oh, okay, so I got... Uh, one threat and one, and one threat success. and two successes. Okay, so you turn your ship around and <coughs> slide the down. And you guys are taking off in hyperspace. space. Right on. I'm gonna do some uh, repairing while we're moving. Okay, which you know, you know your yep. pilot can you know help you do you know so you're repairing at the same yeah. time basically. Sure. Rather than assisting, it's easier that way. Yep, yep. Okay. Again. So both of you guys go ahead and do a mechanical repair. Yes. Uh, two, two purple. Three, two. Yeah, thankfully you're not that badly damaged. Which I'm thinking right here, you guys can okay. slap your repairs together. So I got one advantage. No success? Yeah, one success, two advantage. Okay, so between the two of you, you can get those missing three points back. Okay. Sorry. Though you now realize you've depleted all your resources <laughs> on ship, you may want to buy some slap patches for the ship. Yeah. <laughs> Because those are so much nicer because you just patch and go slap, yep. tack, 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 tack. And it does all the work for you. Okay. okay. So and as we go, I got, I'm doing standard scanning and so forth. For, uh, or just 
chilling out and watching the guy who's not. I was gonna to say, you can, you can play ga- that game with him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, uh, Dad, uh, do you want to go off? I can just play out with him. I have nothing to do better than shoot things. <laughs> There's nothing to shoot. Yeah, shoot off in space. Shoot off in space. Wait a minute. Are you, watching, are you watching the guy or are you watching yes, the gunner? Yes, I'm telling you to go shoot off some things and go. Oh, you're telling me to go <laughs> shoot things in space. I don't want to go shoot things in yeah. space. Okay, get your guns. Do some things. Yeah, I'm going to stress you out. Yes, sir. Ice, sir. Right away, sir. Do something that he's, he's you want to do. He's a good leader. You're going to get beat still. up, man. Don't be pushing my guy. <laughs> you're, you're not my boss. 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 Leadership. Knife to your throat. Okay, <laughs> you guys get, you know, hyperspace, no fuss, yeah. no muss. You pop out, your pilot's taking you to where your designated location's going. <laughs> nice you. little nav. Computer's already got the little marker showing how you fly to land. Oh, you know, so oh, This is what it's not like to be in civilized space. There's <laughs> buoys that point the way. Wow. Yeah. You know, it's like a path map. You practically just let go of the controls and let the tractor beam take you down. <laughs> you get down there, you get your landing pad, and conveniently when you open the hatch, there's some Imperial inspectors there to see you that don't look Imperial. Mm. Basically, you get the automated message of Imperial inspection. You should check the digital track. Please unlock yeah. all hatches and prepare to be inspected. Go ahead and but uh, you so look at the camera and you can just see that. it's like five uh, made men. Sitting out there. Okay, so we know that they're not really imperial. I was yep. gonna be like, hey, yeah, no. yes, okay, so they're I'm distinctly un- unimperial, but they I'll, have uh, inspector office uniforms on. But you're looking at these guys going, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, we're good. Uh, so I uncuff him because okay. we don't want to, you know, last couple of feet make him feel comfortable. Uh huh. Best we can. Yeah. Give him the nice yeah. pat on the back. Right. You know, hey. The, 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 don't don't stab us in the back. Okay, ramp goes down. He, he seems to actually like you guys. Yeah. Maybe he just likes the fact that he's back in his home planet. Right. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, ah, just the bad stuff in the atmosphere. Call it home. Yeah. Right. Take it down to the lava sheets. Okay, he goes up. He talks to one of their guys. Are you guys being gun bunny over in the open, or are you just being cool? No, we're, we're being cool. cool. Okay. 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 They're being, being cool. cool. You're being cool. They're dressed all nice. They're yeah, because we're in we're inside imperial space. So yeah. yeah. There's yeah. there's no like roof. Yeah, we're just like hanging back like cool. Like, like, hey, he goes up, and whispers guy, yeah. to one yeah. of the guys. This guy looks like you know he, he almost looks imperial inspector ish, except he's the wrong race. He's, he's got the total bookworm thing going on. <laughs> he opens, he rubs his thumb on the briefcase and opens up the briefcase and they talk. And he basically pulls out two data sticks, hands them to him. The guy comes back to you guys, thanks you. Basically hands you the two data sticks. He's obviously the one in charge. Right, yeah. right. <laughs> yeah. Well, he wanted to go over the first time, so that's fine. And basically says the black data stick is to contact the organization. They'll be definitely in touch with you. And, uh, okay, I gotta go. All right, the other one is the catch. It was, thank you, you very much. Do you check the money in front yes, of Yes, I am checking the money. I'm giving it to the large and yes. bad. Four. Okay, you well, check no, the money. He just kind of passes and he over kind of just, just, casually. He just <laughs> kind of sighs as you do that. He's like, no, no, no. I understand dealing with outer rumors. <laughs> okay, yeah, see? <laughs> He's like, okay, there's no trust between villains. Is there? Is there? And then I, wait, who's? who's I think it's Dave. He, he, I, he's oh, he's yeah. data padding to make sure right, it's got the proper pad mana. Yeah. Yep, data yeah. pad is good. All right. It's good. Okay. Okay. He turns around and you see literally another guy opens up another briefcase and it's a Do fresh jacket give... and he's pulling his his flight jacket off, putting a nice tailored jacket on. Uh, I'm gonna ask. Hey, good. Do you want to give him a uh, call stick? Like, so in case they want to reach us, that guy, the guy that we just delivered. Uh-huh. So, like, kind of like as a sign of faith. Well, you kind of give your information, you know, they've got your, oh, okay. your email addresses. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> All right, then. Looks like you're giving me... Yeah, everyone starts. We are a freelance. Trust me, somewhere a slicer has you guys information from that data dump that you said. Oh, definitely. A lot of information. Okay. All right. So you guys get the cash, you guys heading back to the Smuggler's Moon? Yep. Okay, everybody gets a uh, two, three, yep. five, two. You get a lot more than that. Yeah, you start you doing the whole yeah, I already know data tablet, like, sending the cash <laughs> off to different people. It's like, it, get your stick right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did that with my 
It's really on right now. Right. So, so you have cash. <laughs> Any place particular you guys are wanting to head besides the smuggler's room? Um, well, it's the best to... place to spend money. Well, we have the, the upgrades that she still needs to do on the exactly. ship. Exactly. So, so yeah, we'll, we'll head there so she can get our upgrades completed. Okay. To which she's already, once you guys send the message saying, hey, we're coming back. And she's yep. like, yes. The, the, the warehouse is ready for the rest of the upgrades. Sweet. All right. My engineer, my scientist, son. <laughs> Did you come see a Y wing that's got yeah, cool another very lines. lucrative uh, nice mission. Day. Nice. Yep. So that was uh, almost like ten grand. grand. So that's, that's awesome. Like, yeah. Huh? That was twenty two fifty. So another twenty two fifty for the ship too, right? So mm-hmm. that's twenty two fifty. So five thousand two hundred fifty provision. Yeah. Okay. And then it's all Just, great until someone blows the ship up. Yeah. I like that glare. Look at the glare. Yeah. Nobody's blowing up the ship, man. <laughs> so I'll keep that updated for the ship so that yeah, I wrote it I'm kind of maintaining it. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. You can hold on to sheets just in case you don't make one of the things you can keep. So, so you guys are in town. Be that so one. while you guys are on the smuggler's boat, where mm-hmm. are you guys staying? You need a hotel, stay at the ship. Stay on the ship. Ship, yeah. ship, I don't know. Spring room port. Wherever my Bobby weapons are. Is the ship? Yeah. <laughs> I like sleep on them. Oh. oh. And he needed like a special fabric going through like all the triggers, so all the safeties on. He uses it as like a blanket. <laughs> <laughs> Just yeah. pull them all up and curl up in them. I, I love so my gun. Because yeah, I'm kind of overseeing, you know, the. The ship modifications. Especially, yes, yeah, because, you know. Don't want to mess anything up. Oh, okay. Yeah, so on the ship, since you are staying on the ship, so yeah. the ship yeah. how well are you guys living food wise, drink wise? Uh, uh, comfortable. Comfortable? I mean, yeah. comfortable. Not, not being basically. lavish. But not princess. No. Yeah, not princess. <laughs> but definitely okay. not rehydrated rations. Okay, so yeah. so everybody pay about 200 credits okay. for your, your room and board and supplies and all that good stuff, and you can get yourself comfortably set up on the ships. And Is she going to refuel us and stuff? She, she will, will give you refueling this time. Okay. This time. <laughs> Mainly because she's busy playing with her poo Right. That's she right. will call this a goblin. <laughs> <laughs> and the fact that she's got her, her guys going over those bank records. Universal banking system. Doesn't matter if your plan blows up. That's right. The banking records still hold true. If only you could remember Granddaddy's password. Everyone wins. Yeah. Hey, I'm not hey, I I'm not judging. Long she keeps uh, supplying uh-huh. the cash and upgrades and things like that. Yep. And you all are going to have 25 experience Whoa. to burn <gasps> Holy shit. Yeah. while you're recovering because you, you got the chest. You guys did amazing. I mean, you did like serious amazing So I'm almost at 11. Yeah, yeah we've had some really good rolls. I, I mean, that, I mean that's look how many clients we have. Wait, so how much again? 25 <laughs> experience. 50. Nice. Nice. Yeah, we've so, been very fortunate on our rolls. <laughs> if I didn't have to spend that two fifty on the, that share, uh-huh. I would have been at eleven thousand. Nice, nice, rich man. Hey, that's all right. Oh, now we can, or you can. <laughs> yeah. So I downloaded the program onto his, under his own profile, so he's like taking care of his own. Oh, nice. Nice. Nice, nice, zero maintenance. You know, that way I don't have to sit there and go. Eh. This right? way, it's just all. That way you can take your results. Yeah, yeah. Do your own bookkeeping. For a second, kind of weird. For a second, something that's so weird. Where's that? Oh, I just kind of. Oh, it's a clear. Why is that? Yeah. Clear? Well, that's it's part of like. So here. when you gave him the okay. force, right? That added, so he gets to roll a force die with. Oh, the, oh, oh. With that one and that one. Nice. For coordination and uh, uh, what are athletics. The, okay. Oh, so I saw the triangle. Two of these are the, yours. Yes. Okay. And the rest of you guys is just yeah. Because I brought the actual dice dash, which, like I said, I have plenty of dice. Right? Yeah. I was trying to figure out. I was like, what the hell? And I have. Yeah. Well, that was the whole thing. Like, I when I went through and I picked, I was like, uh, why is there? Well, that's why I was like, they're not. Are they yellow? Like yeah. A yellow and then green yellow, which was like, that's weird. Why wouldn't it have been them both together? And then, yeah. Okay. yeah. So yeah, it's all. That's cool. So these second ice candles have made out well again. We have been very 
Fortuitous. Or forcetuitous. <laughs> That's what happens when you start burning through them. Hey, at least I went to the bad one. Yeah. So. And it's going to be even scarier when MK joins. Right? Yeah. So. MK oh. is Caitlyn. Caitlyn. She has a uh, beefed up battle droid. She's a hired gun battle. heavy, so she's all about the big guns. But she ain't totally beefed up. Yet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And she'll be her, and MK will probably be coming up to you saying, Can I beef all the big guns, sir? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. That's uh, I've already kind of figured that part. What is so. the loading system of this library? <laughs> right. um, it's a yeah. gun library. <laughs> I'm already trying to figure out, okay, what can we, like, mount and what can we carry? Uh-huh. Like, okay, let's mount a missile launcher on there. So, in theory, as a droid, anything that she can carry can also be attached to it. Right. That's kind of that. <laughs> yep. What can we attach? I I put some points in the droid repair and all that good stuff. Yeah, we gotta get it faster. Yeah. Well, there's some other stuff we can get to the ship too without an astromech. There's some other brand well, upgrades. We're not gonna trade like for an astromech. Let's put it that way. No, 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 no. You scoundrels! No, but there's some upgrade type things that can be added one. to the ship. Yep. That adds to piloting and nav and yeah. stuff like that. Because that'll be always oh, nice. Your, uh, without the droid. This will be nice to my collection. Yeah, upgrading the droid, the ship droids, is the brains is always good. The brains and stuff, yeah, some of the stuff, yeah. Yeah, it's like in the novel they did for the Millennium Falcon, which is funny because it covers like a hundred years of the Falcon's life before Han Solo. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, yeah. And uh, it basically talks about how many times the damn thing's been put back together. Yeah. Like, it crashed on the smuggler's moon. Like, from orbit came down and crashed because it was hit by a yacht coming oh, right shit. out of hyperspace. Uh, sent on a special mission during the Clone Wars when Palpatine took over by the Jedi Council. <laughs> so, do you have any special preference for what I spend my budget? No, it's your budget. Why would he it's, it's your budget. Well, no, like, 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 no, like restrictions. Oh. Uh, just nothing. Uh, if it's anything that's rare to eight or nine, just shoot me an email or message so we can make it part of the story. Because maybe you have to go to a really bad market to buy yeah. that. Right. So then it can become part of the story. Yeah, that, 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 that was yours, yeah. right? Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I'm going to say that. Um, um, that's it? Like, just and if there's something I want to spend personal money on to upgrade on the ship, I can go ahead and add that too? Yep. Okay, no do. Because you're at a perfect... They're, yeah. they're willing to do it for cost, basically. Can I do that too? Yeah. For what, ship sure. modifications? Yeah. Yeah. Now remember, the ship does have a limited number of parts. Right. So I know. And that's a good place to wrap it up there. Down in the depths of the mountain, we dwarves spend our time forging powerful weapons, mining precious gems and metals, and feasting like kings. But after a day of digging for the next Arkenstone, this dwarf likes to come home to a package full of loot. Dungeon Crate is a monthly subscription box service forged specifically for RPG and tabletop gamers. Miniatures, dice, tokens, coins, maps, modules, terrain pieces, handcrafted items, RPG jewelry, and more are yours for only a few gold per month. You even get a digital crate along with a physical one as an added bonus. So are you brave enough to reward yourself with a Dungeon Crate? By Morden's beard, I hope so. DungeonCrate.com let the adventure begin! Thank you for listening to the Creative Play and Podcast Network. And feel free to enjoy our other shows, such as D&D Journey of the Fifth Edition and Scion Ragnarok and Roll, a Scion hero to Ragnarok story. Thank you for listening. My mom and I kept the autism a secret. Otherwise, they would treat me more different and they would like ignore me or something like that. Like I don't even exist in the world. Autism now affects 1 in 68 children and the figures are on the increase. People with autism are our friends, family, neighbours and part of our community. Autism awareness and acceptance is becoming increasingly relevant to society. My name is Yvonne Wang. I'm a social cultural anthropologist and broadcast standards film ethnographer.
I would like to raise funds so I can conduct a full ethnographic study and documentary about how autistic individuals transition into adulthood. I would like to raise autism awareness and inspire people and employers to accept and celebrate human diversity. This includes observing individuals in their home and work environments. The proposed period of research is three months following the lives of multiple families affected by autism. Visit Film Ethnography for more information.